Victoria. Hey there, folks. Steve the Amateur Historian here with you to bring to you a mess of film that I took and thought this would be a good piece to put together because this is an area that used to look a lot different before I was there and probably in the maybe near future is going to look considerably different once again from what it was when I saw that. This is the former site of the McCormick and Baxter Company, which stood along the Portland Harbor, which lined for miles the eastern side of the Willamette River uh, in North Portland, and it's just down the hill from University of Portland where I went to school. It's regarded as the McCormick and Baxter Superfund site, and uh, the company, McCormick and Baxter, like so many other companies down there, didn't follow really great environmental regulations, and a lot of them literally just spewed contaminants from their company and the things they did right into the Willamette River. One of the things that contributed to the river becoming so filthy years back. And finally, by the 1980s, uh, the environment of environmental equality started getting on these companies and trying to get them to clean the places up. But unfortunately, in 1988, McCormick and Baxter specifically filed Chapter 11 bankruptcy and being out of money, they couldn't continue cleaning up the site. And it took almost 20 years before they'd completed just the expectations that the Environmental Protection Agency, EPA, had set for them. Uh, with the company closing almost 20 years ago, uh, the site became essentially an abandoned area. Uh, you know, not much was going on there, and it actually became a place iconically known as Pirate Town, where people would go and hang out, people that didn't want to go out clubbing and all that, you know, predictable stuff. These people wanted to go out, they uh, tagged up the buildings with all this really colorful art, you know, BMX bikers would go out there, skaters would go out there, they'd have uh, late night um, parties, late night movie showings, it was a place where people who wanted to do something a little different would go to, and there was really nobody there to stop them. That was until 2009, when the University of Portland purchased the property, and it that led to the demolition of the few remaining buildings there. The last building standing was the McCormick, uh, was connected to McCormick and Baxter. Um, it was predominantly where their place was, and it's, you know, they have plans for it, but it's been a very slow process. And with the college buying it in 2009 and demoing the property, that was essentially the end of Pirate Town, as now it's just kind of a bunch of gravel and brush. That being said, I went out there in late summer of 2016 with my girlfriend to see what was still out there, as I knew, you know, the future was probably going to look a lot different. I wanted to see if there was any uh, remains, uh, not just maybe of Pirate Town, but also all the, you know, companies and warehouses and factories that used to be out there. Uh, we weren't certain if it was okay to go there because we didn't really know what the, I mean, it was part of the college. There was nothing stopping us from going down there, nothing that said you can't go in. Um, and me and my girlfriend conveniently encountered a um, member of the school security who was, you know, driving around down there. Um, and he gave us the okay like he saw that I had a camera and figured okay they're just gonna take some video and some pictures whatever they're not a threat so he effectively allowed us to go in and that's where I caught um, a bunch of footage and I want to bring that to you all now mm -hmm. 